Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back today with another tutorial. Uh, first off, I want to say it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, and that's mainly because I've been uh, recently uh, was asked to do a job for tutsplus.com. Uh, if you haven't been there, uh, I'd go ahead and recommend you check that site out. Uh, there's a lot of high quality tutorials and uh, courses that you guys can do that uh, may really help you out. And that's currently the project that I'm doing. I'm doing an introduction course to Cinema 4D and Tuts Plus. It's actually going on the Tuts Premium website. So uh, whenever I get this completed, I've worked on it for a couple weeks now. Uh, whenever I get it completed and we go through the process of getting it uh, published, I will let you guys know. And you can go there if you're new to Cinema 4D and it will teach you all the basics. Uh, so that is that. Just want to let give you guys a heads up on what's going on with me. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so with that said, let's go and jump right into this. So what you have right here in front of you is basically what we're going to be taking a look at how to how to create today. Um, and really all this is is a bunch of toruses that are have been applied to a text spline. And um, it's a really neat and simple effect. You know, this is uh, this is pretty neat and it can be accomplished fairly quickly so uh, there's also many different things you can do with this so I'm just gonna go ahead and erase what we have here and I'm just gonna start fresh so what I did to do this was uh, first things first let's go ahead and let's let's uh, for this tutorial we're just gonna use text so let's just go up to this spline and drop in some text and right here we can just uh, rename this to whatever we want so um, you know now we'll just leave we'll just leave it at text for this tutorial. So I'm just going to type that back in there, and um, so we have that. You know, you can uh, modify the height and the spacing and all that stuff. But uh, I'm just going to leave it uh, default for right now. Okay, and the very next step here is to go up to MoGraph and go to Mo uh, MoGraph and go to uh, MoGraph Cloner. And uh, right here, um, once you click on the cloner, you're going to see mode, and it's going to say linear. Go ahead and change that to object. All right, and here in a minute, we're going to play around with some of these values here in a second, but we're not quite ready for that. The very next, th the very next thing you guys would want to do is uh, just select which object you want to clone to the spline here. So. Um, you know, you can pick anything you want. What you just saw there was a bunch of toruses. So, um, you know, you could use anything, really. I mean, you can even create your own object and use that. So, uh, just to do something a little bit different here, I'm just going to use a pyramid. I haven't tried this yet. I don't know what it's going to look like, but uh, we're going to find out. So, I'm just going to uh, scale this down quite a bit, and I can even modify some of these values. Um, I'm going to make it about 30% or so, so pretty small. And we're going to go ahead and make that a child of the cloner. And the minute you do that, you're going to notice uh, that nothing really happens. All right, so now we just have to tell uh, the cloner what object we want uh, these pyramids to be applied to. So in this case, it's our text. So we're going to click on cloner, and we're going to click and drag our text into the object. And immediately... You're going to see that um, our pyramids get applied to the text, as you can see there. And they're pretty um, pretty far spaced out. And there's several different ways uh, you can, you know, you can change this. Um, we'll just leave it at iterate for now. You can uh, increase the account, so obviously that's going to make more. And so now we've got something uh, quite a bit different here. Um, we can change the seed the offset, um, the variation of this, um, you know, and all this stuff is, uh, you can animate all these things. So uh, you can really create some neat, uh, neat stuff. Um, we can change the distribution. So we can go to step, we can go to even, it's going to try to uh, space them out pretty evenly. And then we can go to vertex, which is just going to apply it, uh, apply the object to all the vertexes on the text. Um, we can even go to, uh, if we go to the Effectors tab with Cloner selected, we can go up to MoGraph, go to Effector, and then go to, um, where is it at, Random. And you're going to see something pretty wacky there. Um, you can play with these values. 
Uh, you can play with the scale, you know, uh, that sort of thing. Play with the rotation so you can make these pieces rotate in a bunch of different directions and look very, very random. Um, you know, and it doesn't just have to be text as well, guys. You can actually use uh, other objects as well. So, um, as a matter of fact, I can go ahead and show you that right now if you want. Um, if I were to delete the text here, and we just have uh, the random effector and the pyramid and cloner in here. We can just go up and grab a cube, click on the cloner, make the cube the object here. And immediately you're going to see that uh, by default the distribution is vertex. So these uh, pyramids are going to try to um, attach themselves onto the vertexes of the cube. Uh, we can just, just go ahead and make the cube invisible like so. So you can actually see that uh, the pyramids are just showing up right on the corners of the cube. If we change that distribution of vertex to volume, you can see that uh, it changes. And now the pyramid pyramids are trying to fill up the space of the cube, and we can actually uh, decrease and increase the count and whatnot. Uh, the seed is just going to change the random position that uh, they're arranged in. Um, you've, all, you've also got surface distribution, polygon center, uh, edge, all kinds of different stuff. So, just gave that a quick render. You know, um, like with everything this is all you can animate this so you know if I wanted to on frame zero I could um, one second here I could start at 9 create a, create a keyframe and then by 75 have this thing fill up to some degree and if we go back from the beginning you'll notice that uh, it looks like these pyramids just start appearing um, inside that cube so that's just one thing you can do there or a couple rather um, and that's pretty much it guys uh, you can use this for a lot of different things um, I actually had someone request this tutorial a while back and I just never got around to doing it but um, that is that guys create some neat stuff um, I didn't go too far in depth um, want to leave that up to you guys to play around with and whatnot uh, but that is it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys later alright peace out